Hey, Nance. I think we're live. All right. Hi, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, good evening. This is Coach Nancy, and I'm here with Coaches Sandy and Annika. I'm on the East Coast, and they're on the West Coast. Yeah. And, you know, they are our amazing mother-daughter team, and they both love to cook. Decision-free, healthy solutions, and phase two recipes. So we're going to cover it all tonight. Yeah. So, in fact, we're calling this episode Grilling with HMR Part 2. Some of you may remember that last August, um, Shane, who was one of our um, major participants, and Coach Rick did a grilling episode that was just amazing. And in fact, we're going to um, post a link to that in the comments. Uh, I'd highly recommend that you watch that or even rewatch it if you saw it then. But um, so, ladies, we got our work cut out for us tonight. Hey, we sure do. <laughs> Are you ready for the challenge? Yeah. Uh, we're up for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's just see who's joined us to see if i can find out ah jennifer our steady hey jennifer hey jennifer. marcia's here from marcia and faye from missouri great all right <laughs> jennifer says i'm surprised jane isn't grilling well i don't know these two ladies are going to give shane a room for them uh for their we're money gonna here. we're gonna try <laughs> all right we've got karen trisha ann's watching thalia welcome you guys Great. I'm so thrilled to have everybody. Okay. Um, and as you can see, Sandy and Annika, they're on Sandy's back deck. They have the grill going and they really have a full menu planned with lots of great recipes. I all of this. We don't burn with, anything. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Uh, and all of these recipes, not only are they going to show them, they're going to make some of them, but we're going to post all of them throughout. Right. So you'll get, you'll see them posted in the comments and then we will also post them at the end, like the full document with all of them. So ladies, mm -hmm. let's give the viewers an idea of what you guys are going to be um, sharing tonight. Will do. So Annika and I do love to cook <laughs> and uh, we have some family favorite recipes that we bring out in the summertime. And so we're just bringing them out to you guys to really get a sense of what is possible, whether you're on decision-free, healthy solutions, or in phase two, working with the HMAR foods, fruits and vegetables, and some lean proteins. And so today we are covering it all. We're starting with the drink, with the mocktail, and going through a five course you know, experience. We've got everything from you know, uh, appetizers, entrees, sides, and dessert. So um, be listening for those recipes that fit the phase of the program that you're in, because we will tell you, you know, what is appropriate for what phase. And uh, like Nancy said, there's no need to write anything down. Just relax, participate, enjoy the time. We'll provide the recipes. Um, don't worry for everything we're making today. Yeah. Although, although Shane said he is taking notes. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> He's an overachiever, that Shane. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, one of the goals here tonight is for you to hear of something either that uh, Sandy and Annika share or that you and the feed share yeah. that you can leave with and that you can try, whether you're watching this live or you're watching it after the fact. Right. Um, because even though we're not asking you to take notes, we are asking you to do a lot of commenting because okay. the more strategies we get, right, the better. So certainly if you have a question for them, ask it, but also throughout this, we're going to be asking for your um, ideas. What are you using? What are your go-to strategies? So the more the merrier here. Okay. Um, so uh, let me just see who's joining us. Um, we have Ian, we have uh, Bob. Ah. Bob from Sandy. Rancho Cucamonga, California. All right. <laughs> One of our regulars. Yeah. We've got Julie coming. Um, oh, she's from Lakewood, Washington. Fabulous. Diane's watching. Tanya, who's one of our regulars from California. Um, Diane from Gillette, New Jersey. Elsie's watching. Pamela's watching. Great. We have lots and lots of people coming on. Um, Wonderful. I'm so, so happy to have everybody here. Oh, so Shane's saying, I get in a rut, love hearing new ideas and recipes. Well, the girls have a lot to share. So That's welcome, nice. everyone. And again, um, 
are, again, let's make sure you're noticing what you can try. And also here's, here's something to think about. It's easier to eat healthy if you enjoy the foods, right? It's so much easier to choose that. So the more options you have, the better. All right. So ladies, I can see that you've got two lovely looking cocktails there. So tell us what you guys are sipping on. Sure. So we made um, a couple of mocktails here. So mine is um, Healthy Solutions and Phase 2. Um, it is frozen pineapple, um, frozen mango, some sugar-free coconut syrup, and um, a new addition, which actually I got the idea from a fellow Facebook group member, um, some rum extract. Oh my so goodness. It's a fun, um, you know, completely uh, low calorie, yeah. guilt-free mocktail. <laughs> That's great. Nice. Delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I've got a decision-free version and it's a vanilla shake, of course. And I've used this by um, it's coconut pineapple water, Whoa. 10 calories for the whole bottle. I think we only used half the bottle though, mm -hmm. for one shake, 18 ounce bottle, but you can use your own tropical sugar-free calorie-free drink and it's just ice, vanilla shake, and did you put any rum extract in mine? No, oh. I didn't. <laughs> I won't be getting, I won't be wearing a lampshade later. Mine has <laughs> rum extract in it. <laughs> Those both look so, so refreshing. So viewers, come on, comment on what are some of your um, favorite, either low calorie or decision-free healthy solution shakes and or just low calorie beverages. I love taking, you know, like the flavored, um, sparkling waters, or as you said, the buy or, or seltzers, you know, I love like taking a peach seltzer and, and putting slices of peaches in it. I find that very, very refreshing. And I have to say one of my favorite seltzers is the black cherry. And I love, I love putting either vanilla or chocolate shake, and mixing it with the black cherry. That's absolutely one of my favorites really too. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Hey, Sue's here. Um, Oh, so Bob says to go with grilled food. Is there a non-alcoholic beer that's in the box? I I think the I don't know what the calories are. Yeah, I um, Bob, it has to be ten calories or less per eight ounces. Yeah. So if there's an I don't think there's I don't know if I honestly don't know. But if there's a non-alcoholic -alco beer that fits that criteria, then yes. Otherwise, it's still a phase two option. Mm -hmm. Lori saying hi from central Wisconsin with all of our hot and humid weather those drinks really hit the spot boy mm -hmm. I agree with you it's very hot out here where I am too They're right very now refreshing mm -hmm. super flavorful yeah all right so um please add in any beverages that you're drinking right now that you're loving and um let's let's move on um again if you're just joining us all the recipes, uh, including the mocktails that they just described um, and everything else that they do is all gonna be posted. So don't worry, you'll be able to get all of these recipes um, throughout the event and at the end of the event. So um, what's next ladies? What's next Monica? Well, I think that we are going to be sharing one of our newest creations, our Fiesta uh, chicken bites or pepper bites. All right, we're on to the appetizer phase, right? Yeah, the appetizer phase. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, we cook them on the grill. You can certainly bake them in the oven, but it's basically two ingredients. It's Fiesta chicken entree and those little mini sweet peppers or jalapeno peppers if you're Annika who likes everything spicy. <laughs> um, and you simply stuff them and grill them until the pepper's soft or bake them, you know, probably 350 for about 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, oh, we ah! lost one, man oh. <laughs> board. All right. <laughs> That's <laughs> when you need a dog. <laughs> we only have a cat, that won't work. Uh, no, all right. So one entree, and I think we filled like wow. peppers. So this, yeah, goodness. this is one entree. One entree. I could see wow. taking that to an event and, oh having it as an appetizer to share. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if I'd want to share it, but no, it's, it's <laughs> give, them, give them another look. That okay. was, that, was that is, neat. that is so impressive. Look at how much food that is mm -hmm. for under 300 calories. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and fun, something to eat with your hands. Yes. Yeah. It's fat. And, and no one would ever know nope. that that was diet food, right? That's we right. all love the, oh, we that's chicken and peppers. Yeah. So clearly that's for healthy solutions or someone in phase two. Boy, that looks wonderful. Healthy solutions in phase two. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So this next one we have is, I think I would consider this a fan favorite, our toasted ravioli. Yes. Um, so this one, um, take a look here. I just collected all the sauce and put it as a dipping, uh, dipping sauce on the side. Um, and then just rinsed off the raviolis a little bit, sprinkled some uh, garlic salt. I put these in the air fryer for about 10 minutes, but you could certainly um, bake them as well. So this is a good decision-free option. Um, yes. Yeah, so if anybody's not aware of that, that is one of our fan favorites and that uh, recipe is actually on our website. And, right. um, but it's just, again, a decision-free, all it is is the entree with the sauce and the ravioli separated and, and, and um, cooked separately. So again, wonderful option. Yeah. People want easy. It's one ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> I think that one's a, a really good recipe for, especially at night when you're craving something salty or crunchy. Yeah. Um, you can whip that up pretty quickly and have something to enjoy. Or even an entree that's a different texture. You know, we get mm. that request a lot. What can I eat that's different from just opening the meal and eating it like it is? So it does create a little bit of a crunch and chew that you just don't get otherwise. Mm -hmm. And as you said, a finger food, and you know, sometimes yeah. it's nice to just have something that you can, yeah. you can do that with. All right. So a um, couple of really wonderful appetizers there, um, you know, and really, again, something that, yeah, this sounds, we're fabulous. Again, if anybody else has any other ideas of uh, appetizers that you are enjoying right now, um, let's add them in. Let's get them in there. Oh, I've got Trisha says poblano peppers stuffed with the Fiesta chicken entree air fried is also open. Uh, awesome. When you can't grill. That sounds yes. really good. Thank you. That's a great mm. idea. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Yeah, that uh, we're getting a lot of they look delicious. Comments. <laughs> we're if looking we could, at Nance, we could stop right here and we'd have ourselves a happy hour, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Agree, my goodness. But we're not going to stop. <laughs> um, Lori said, um, for Christmas, our kids went together and got us a grill that also has a griddle. I am now a wonderful grill uh, griller, and veggies are just better on the grill. They do taste really good, don't they? Mm -hmm. And th th you've got more to come that's um, around that. Um, yeah. That is true. Oh, here, and just for a drink here, I, I love sugar-free A&W root beer and a double shake to make a root beer float. That's that's a summer favorite. Oh, that's a fabulous, yeah. fabulous combination. Love it. Love, love it. it. All right. Oh, Susan joined us. Hi, Susan. Hey. And you're getting a compliment on your setting, which I agree is absolutely oh, beautiful. I was telling the ladies earlier before we got on that I want to come over. <laughs> But it's uh, it's only a, a six hour plane ride. <laughs> uh, all right. So again, keep uh, just for anyone that just joined us. We're here with Sandy and Annika in Sandy's backyard. This is our mother daughter team who love to cook and they prepared a five course meal for us. Um, they've shared their appetizer, they uh, as well as their beverages. And now um, we're moving on. And again, Please comment on anything that you do that you find helpful. Also, be thinking of an idea that you see or one in the feed that you want to take on yourself. So, what else is on that grill? I think we see some burgers. What isn't on this grill, Nancy? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, am I seeing burgers like the, the traditional burgers? Yeah, sure. Burgers? What do we got there? Let's let's introduce how we made them. Okay. So we've got two versions. Do you want to describe what you've got there, Annika? Yes. So the first one I made is our turkey chili burger here. So um, the, what I did was simply mix um, a multi-grain cereal and a turkey chili entree. 
Um, <laughs> and it made, you know, four good size patties. Um, and I'm impressed with how big they are. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's one missing, but there's four. Mm -hmm. it's in, okay. Yeah. And if you, you know, multigrain cereal and the turkey chili combinations, just about 420 calories. So, right. you know, each yeah. one of those is like 105 calories. Yeah. Um, it's exactly. amazing. <laughs> This is how we like to make it. Um, we do some lettuce wraps. So we just get some romaine leaves, um, some tomato, pickles, um, avocado to garnish. You could do onions as well. Um, some ketchup or, or mustard. And um, it's a totally low calorie um, phase one uh, or phase two, if you'd like, um, <laughs> recipe that's, that's really, really delicious. Yeah. And we um, also made um, some with the mushroom risotto entree as well. So the same huh. kind of thing, we just mixed the cereal and the mushroom Amazing. risotto entree. And again, four really good size patties, one entree, one cereal. So that's, yeah. Four I mean, I mushroom risotto with three of the turkey chili, and she had the other patty of the turkey chili on the lettuce wrap. Mm -hmm. And and the burgers themselves are decision free, right? right. So right. here's right. a here's a decision free burger, right? Um, that they can that they can have. And what you know, one of the things that I was impressed with um, is that they stay together, like they're they're portable. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, so you think you about that. It's up and. Yeah, we were uh, actually chatting about that, the mm -hmm. fact that how versatile they are, you know, it's so important to have your food with you at all times. And I could totally see making these up ahead of time, packing them with you, you could eat them room temperature, mm -hmm. I cut, you know, crumble them over a salad you pick up when you're out and about or take along with you. Yeah, and sometimes I'll cook up a few on the stove um, ahead of time and just pop them in my air fryer for two or three minutes, um, mm -hmm. to heat them up real quick at home. Yeah. So it's something you could also, you know, Make kind of prep in advance for a really quick lunch. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people could bring them to work. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, frankly, you know, you could eat, even if you're on decision free, I mean, you could finger food them in the car if you needed to. Right. That, right? That, anytime really. Yeah. Anytime so, you're taking some, you know, already prepped food to go that you know this would fit right in that category boy i i i those are amazing to me i definitely have to try those um you know if anyone else has any other ideas oh one of the things that makes a nice bun on those are like the yeah. little portobello mu mushrooms right yeah we, oh you, I, you're ahead of me here. <laughs> <laughs> so we grilled up a couple and you could do it just like the lettuce wrap right mm -hmm. and put all your fixins on it um these portobellos are so big, you probably get two patties on there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, they just cook up nicely on the grill. They have that charred kind of mm -hmm. flavor to them. So it really adds a lot of good flavor to the burger. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, so for those of you who are in phase one, what are you grilling? Is there anything else um, besides these that you're doing um, on the grill? Um, I'm curious. Um, Again, I'm thinking Sandy and Annika, you did a video a, a while back and you used the chicken barbecue, right? Yeah. To make a decision free recipe. Do you want to describe what you did? Sure. Um, so what I did was we, we eat a lot of skewered foods <laughs> um, during the summertime. It's just easy to throw on the grill. And so what I did was I cut up the chick, uh, barbecue chicken patty into little maybe one inch squares and, you know, just kind of alternated them with some veggies and fruits, kind of like what I've got here today. Um, you know, some of the zucchini and peppers and onions, uh, mushrooms, pineapple, and um, just use a little of that sauce from the chicken barbecue entree and brushed it all over everything. Mm. And just, you can skewer those little one inch squares of chicken and just treat it like it's, you know, any other chicken you're putting on a skewer. So that was really nice. That's wonderful. Again, if you're decision free, you can go to an outing and have that. And, you know, no one's, you know, you, it's like you're eating. So that's, <laughs> a, and you can certainly add mustard or, or yes. yeah. you know, ketchup Deci to yeah. that. Decision free. Um, yeah, there's a recipe I know uh, Coach Rick and I really like. It's adding, just taking the barbecue chicken and adding a little mustard to it or some ketchup. Yeah. 
and you know it kind of has that flavor of grilling you know hot dogs or hamburgers but yes. you're not you know you got the you got the in the box uh, option there with all the kind of reminiscent of some summer flavors so yeah and of course if you're if you're um healthy solutions you know one of the things sandy you mentioned was adding sauerkraut that's oh that's yes. kind of a neat uh a neat thing mm -hmm. yeah and again you could do the the lettuce wrap with that or anything so right. lots of ideas so lots now what's what's next ladies so we have a um phase two option we did some grilled shrimp mm. here show it here it's on skewers of course like i said we like to skewer <laughs> things yeah and i um i came up with a little spice blend recently that i've been loving putting on my on my shrimp it's a little bit of a, a spicy kick but i do some paprika cayenne um garlic powder italian seasoning and onion powder and a little salt and pepper um, and it's a nice kind of dry rub that adds a lot of flavor, um, you know, obviously without adding any extra calories and it's, and it's great. You could put it on shrimp, chicken, um, you know, really, I can't think of any protein you might. It would even be good on vegetables. Yeah. You know? even yeah. On, vegetables. So, on those portobellas. Yeah. So, um, we, this is my, uh, kind of favorite. This, yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite protein right now. And what's great is. You know, this is a lot of shrimp to me, yes. and this is one serving. So um, that, that's really exciting. Yeah. I so for that. for folks, that's um, shrimp is one of the lowest calorie lean proteins. So it's twenty five calories an ounce. Right. Mm -hmm. And that was what Annika six ounces, six right? Ounces. Mm -hmm. So that entire both skewers together is only one hundred fifty calories. So again you have the advantage of having a lot of food for very few calories and you know certainly if you combine it with you know a lot of vegetables you have a very filling meal for very few calories um and of course it pays to find a low calorie way to cook it because for example if you fry shrimp it jumps from 25 calories an ounce to 100 calories an ounce that's a big jump so it's a big jump so those same six ounces of shrimp are now 600 calories. So again, how you cook things can really influence the the the, um, the calories you're eating. Right. And again, if the, if you can find things like this that you enjoy, uh, it just becomes so much easier to be eating healthy foods, mm -hmm. right? And getting nice and full. So that's fabulous. So again, mm -hmm. are you seeing anything that you want to try? Um, another, um, so let's hear some other phase two options. Um, I saw one here earlier I wanted to mention. Um, let's see, I think it was Lori. Lori, yes, yeah, so one of my favorites is grilled chicken and a oh, griddled broccoli. So she griddles the broccoli. Oh. Yeah, that would be a great combination. Griddled uh, broccoli. Yeah, I, I it, it'd be interesting for you to share the difference in the griddle to the grill. Like, what, what do you notice in the flavoring? I'd be curious about that uh, yeah. as well. So what are some other, again, people, what are some other phase two options? Um, you know, I know for me, I love like a turkey burger. Um, of course, there's all the veggie burgers around. I tend to um, be a little lazy. And I like the the frozen burgers from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they have they have a great turkey burger that's under 200 calories and high protein. They have a chicken chili lime mm. burger that's that's really very good. And again, it's it's less than 200 calories and right. high protein. And then recently I discovered they have a mahi mahi burger. Yeah. And I, you know, I've tried the salmon. I'm not in love with salmon burgers, I'll confess but it's an option, but the mahi mahi, I don't know. I really like the consistency of it. And um, again, this is phase two. I found that putting that in like a grain bowl, either with, you know, cauliflower rice and other vegetables or a, a, a grain and other vegetables. And that mahi mahi burger was a, a really nice lower calorie meal. So, you know, again, please uh, add in anything that uh, you all are doing um, that's working well if you're in phase two. Yep. Can you think of anything else? Um, 
I know we do, uh, we've done swordfish on the grill before mm. and uh, just flavored with a little bit of garlic and rosemary. And well, that uh, sounds good. Coarse, some coarse salt. That's a really good, like a nice mm. thick steak of a. Yeah, the steaks, fish. the steak fish are much easier to cook. Yeah, mm -hmm. they don't fall apart on the grill. Easy. And, and if you go back and watch the uh, Shane and Rick uh, video, Shane um, grilled salmon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so that's, and he's very um, helpful in hearing about salmon and other fish. So that's another good resource for that. And then uh, Lini is saying, any entrees to go with seasoned Brussels sprouts? Mm. Entrees with the Brussels sprouts. Boy, I, I use that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, see, I'd go back to mushroom risotto. I was going to say that too. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the rotini. Mm -hmm. I would put, I would, I would use the mac and cheese with that, um, the, the savory chicken, the whole grain medley, help me out here, but yeah, those I are, try. those are just a, a few leany that you can try. Yep. I think it's a good side for barbecue chicken too. Oh yeah. yes. The barbecue chicken. Absolutely. Um, I would think even the stroganoff. Oh yes. I have done that with the stroganoff. Yeah. I really yeah. think, I can't think of an entree at they don't go well. No, and I mean, I think even the <laughs> pasta dishes, uh, you know, the the yeah. fajol. I mean, yeah. I mean, is there anyone that you really wouldn't put Brussels yeah. sprouts with? I don't think there is one. So, Lini, anyone that you want to do, <laughs> go for it. Don't Try it out. Be adventuresome. All right. So now let's um let's um talk about side dishes. And and again, while you guys are talking about side dishes. Again, in the comments, let's hear some ideas for um, side dishes that you use. So, Monica, I think you're going to start us off, right? All right. Yeah. So this, I'll start with this one. Um, this is something that we've been making different variations of for um, over several, a decade. Yeah, several <laughs> several years. So this is our cold bean salad. Um, well, that and, looks delicious. Yeah. So we did. Um, a can of black beans, a can of white beans, um, some chopped up artichoke parts, a tomato, um, avocado, and just added um, a tablespoon of Italian seasoning and a little vinegar, uh, white vinegar, um, just a dash of salt and pepper. And this is a really good chilled salad. Mm. Um, that makes a good side, makes a good meal. Yeah, makes it good. <laughs> it's just good to have it. leftovers of through the week. Um, yeah. but I mean, yeah. and that's amazing. There's no, um, you know, the flavoring in it is all like basically no calorie, the mm -hmm. way you're describing. Yeah. That's amazing. Exactly right. Yeah. And you could, I'm, you could obviously do this with a light Italian dressing as well, mm -hmm. something um, with, with a lot of flavor that way. And it's one of those dishes, the longer it sits in the fridge, the better it better tastes. tastes. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm excited to eat some of this later. Yeah. And, and, you know, let's face it, having prepared foods in the refrigerator that you can just go and grab, how important is that strategy? Right. Super, super yeah. important. Aren't we all yeah. just so busy? We need things that are at the We ready. need to have things prepared and ready to go. So boy, that ready. looks delicious. Yeah. 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 Anything else? How about, yeah, I, um, actually took a decision free recipe from our website Ooh. and this is a new one for us i know we're sharing a lot of recipes that we do ourselves but we wanted to challenge ourselves as well to try something new and so we did the picnic beans decision free so it's um two turkey chili entrees there's some ketchup there's some mustard in here yeah get a, a little dash, closer a dash of tabasco mm. i'm trying to think if there was anything i'm missing um, if you go to the website in the recipe section and search picnic beans or wait for our, um, <laughs> our recipes to come out, you'll find this, but we baked it in the oven and, um, they're a lot like, um, they're similar to barbecue beans, like not quite pork and beans kind of a flavor, um, more of the ranch style beans mm. that we see in canned in the grocery store, but it's really good. Highly recommend. Love it. it. Well, it with anything that you grill. Yeah, and it's decision free. That's right. It's good. It's good. Wonderful. All right. Okay, we've got another side, right, a couple more. Our last salad. So, well, kind of. It is um, our last side. So, this is a watermelon, mint, and feta 
Did. Oh, how pretty. That's pretty. So um, we just did um, some chopped up mint with the watermelon. Um, and, you know, for phase two, you can add just a quarter cup of fat free feta just adds for a little whole watermelon mm -hmm, for the whole watermelon. So it's a really fun flavor. Um, I, I'm really excited to try it. I've actually never had watermelon and mint together. So mm. this was a new one for me. Yeah, Coach Jennifer recommended um, basil in place mm. of mint. Yes, that would be good as well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Um, so without the feta, it's healthy solutions in phase two. And with the feta, it's phase two. Mm -hmm. And again, when you think of watermelon, it's 50 calories a cup. Right. <laughs> you know, you could have four cups of it if you wanted to and be really full and satisfied. And it's healthy. Right. Um, you know, it's a very healthy fruit. Right. Wonderful. Boy, it's so many, getting so many side dishes. Oh, Karen, by the way, is saying, I love grilled asparagus. I can agree with that, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so my sister-in-law makes smoked cheese, which is good for protein in maintenance for, in moderation. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, imagine that you oh, can get something that. really flavorful. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've also got on the grill something that could be, of course, a side dish. And... No surprise, another skewer option I kind of previewed a moment ago. Oh. Um, but really, this is, of course, healthy solutions or phase two. And um, just had a lot of fun with variety on the skewers. Look at all the colors that are Cindy, on. Are, are, are you feeding a, uh, an army or? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> more is better now. More is better, definitely. <laughs> There's going to be leftovers in that house for the week. Mm -hmm. That's right. We got yeah, that's awesome. We got a lot of mouths eating this, but this you can, you know, add your own seasonings and flavors depending on what you're in the mood for. You know, some light sodium. So some, much fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. some light teriyaki or just the seasoning Annika mentioned earlier that we put on the shrimp. Really, you know, your favorites or even just simply, you know, little cracked pepper. And I love the, you know, you added the pineapple, oh, uh, you know, grilled pineapple is so delicious. Yeah. Yeah. And that, um, no, I love that. And, you know, Shane commented as well is that having grilled vegetables ahead of time, they just are perfect for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. You know, and again, just being able to have that flavor, there's something, right. you know, with the air fryer or the griller, you know, there's something that just tastes really good compared to just microwaving. Not that microwaving isn't good, but uh, yeah. just the flavor. I, yeah, I think of, you know, when we bake the entrees, how the flavors. Pop. Yes, it's, it's like a different grill and mm -hmm. vegetables or whatever you're putting on the grill. Yeah, it just takes on a whole life. So good. Them. I agree. Uh, Susan said, I thought we were all going to Sandy's for dinner tonight. I was like, <laughs> I'm with you. I want to go there. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> you are going to post my address in the comments, right? <laughs> so Bob's saying, and yes, I've noticed this as well, that the Halloween candy is uh, starting to appear in the stores. I need some ideas on how to use autumn fruit and veggies to crowd that junk out of my mind. So if anybody has any ideas just so um, for that, but that watermelon you just um, made and then, oh, yes, um, and all the pumpkin stuff, you know, I'll show you a couple of these. So and in fact, Sandy, this is probably a good time to switch to, um, are you done? Like, should we switch to desserts? Almost. Well, okay. this right. could be a side or a dessert. So yeah. this is a okay. good segue food. <laughs> all right. Oh, good. This is a good segue food. All right. Yeah. So, and since Bob's asking, you know, what, what else can I have if I'm trying to avoid that Halloween candy, these sweet peaches on the grill, again, the... The, the flavors just come alive and they, they do get sweeter. I put a little twist on, I, I don't know if you did this last time, Shane, when you did your grilling video, but I um, sprayed mine with nonstick spray, put a little Splenda and some cinnamon before I Ooh, grilled them. Yeah. And they're nice and juicy and soft. I don't know if you can see this. They look wonderful. <laughs> I'm really excited to eat those. That could be a, <laughs> yeah, that could be your side with dinner if you wanted or mm -hmm. a dessert. We were talking about different ways to enjoy the peaches. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember what yeah. we talked about, ladies? Well, I know one of the things I would do with it for a dessert is I would make a vanilla pudding and I would with a little cinnamon and I would put the let the pudding kind of melt over the peaches and have it that way. I would love that. That sounds, really good. That sounds really yeah. good. Yeah, and, and Shane again had a fabulous recipe for the grilled peaches with some not fat whipped um, 
topping and he made a fruit compote and then put some berries and that was lovely too. So again, that's just a fabulous dessert. It really is. And, um, you know, you, you don't want to turn the grill on or maybe it's a time of year where it's uh, too cold out, that sort of thing. You could certainly put these peaches under the broiler yes. and uh, get the same effect of that caramelizing the sugar right on top like that. Yeah, so that's a good, good option. Yeah, that's really good. Of course, the watermelon, you know, I, I don't know if you consider that for fall, but that's um, always a great go-to. Yeah. Yeah, we can often find watermelons into the fall, I believe. A lot of melons. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Anne had a good point here. You can bake apples or pears. That's a, that's a great option. And we have recipes for, um, you know, what do we call it? I don't know if it's called apple oh. crumble or whatever with the apples. And then you right. put the, the cereal over it. So that's mm -hmm. another Baking thing. Um, yep. <laughs> Lots so, of good ideas. Yeah, lots of good ideas. All right, let's, um, shall we continue on with um, dessert? Yeah, we're moving right along. Yeah, we are. I don't know if anybody's just joined us, but we started with mocktails. We went to a couple of appetizers, a few entree ideas, sides, all kinds of sides. And now we're on to our delicious dessert. Yeah. So, um, and again, if you happen to just join us um, late, just don't worry all you know you can go back and review this whole episode and see sandy and annika making all these all the recipes are posted uh there'll be an entire document of all the recipes posted after we're done so um just welcome join us and watch you're here for dessert what more important thing <laughs> we're looking at than the dessert so ladies uh share what you got all right you want to yeah. kick it off so uh what I made, um, I, I tried this out earlier this year, but um, earlier this summer is a peach cobbler, in the box peach cobbler. Wow. And I don't know about you guys, but I grew up eating a lot of, you know, good peach cobblers and homemade ice cream that my grandma used to make. So um, I did some experimenting of my own and I found that you can make a really good in the box peach cobbler um, mm -hmm. and some homemade ice cream. And this is one of my favorite recipes to make is just a, a diet, well, here, up close, a diet cream soda mixed with vanilla shake just gives a really good oh, wow. authentic homemade ice cream. So we're gonna have a scoop of our peach cobbler with a little ice cream on top. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, oh, that... yeah, it's really good. Some peaches um, with some cinnamon, um, but I've also done it with different fruits like plums, uh, pluots. Um, I've done it with apples. Apples, no, yeah. No. Apple crisp. Yeah. yeah. So if well, you that sounds free, you can, that sounds amazing. Yeah, the the ice cream's decision free. Mm -hmm. So you know. Well, that's true. You're in decision free, and you're thinking, well, I can't have the cobbler. We, no worries, we've got you covered with the so, ice. So, is the ice cream? Did you make it in the food processor, or you know, like the standard yeah. recipe? We, we took the easy route just because we were doing a lot of prepping and used yeah. our countertop ice cream maker made by Cuisinart. And that's real simple because you can mix the, um, the soda with the shake, put it in the Cuisinart ice cream maker, and then just walk away. You can do it in the food processor, and we've got that recipe included um, on our recipe sheet. And with that, you'd need to attend to it and make sure, you know, it's, you're scraping right. down the sides and all that. So that, that Cuisinier ice cream maker sounds amazing. It That's is. the final product oh, there. The beautiful peaches. And even if you just have frozen peaches, you can use those as well. You know, it, it could make that easily. I can't wait to eat that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe you guys, you know, in case somebody's in, I know you've posted before, but maybe um, when you're done, you could post a link to that ice cream maker in case somebody's interested oh. in. Yeah, I mean, you know, as an easy decision free option for ice cream. Yes. yes. I mean, that is a treat. It so, certainly is. And with the ice cream, just like the shakes, you could create a lot of different flavors by adding in the sugar free, fat free jello pudding mix, a tablespoon, and you could have pistachio, butterscotch. Yeah, yeah. so much versatility. Yeah. Um, and even that you can create an ice cream with a, a soda, which I wouldn't have guessed you could. So that's awesome. 
That's a, yeah. that that Annika. I have to say that's an amazing creation um, <laughs> that you've made. You are very inventive. Let's see yes. what people are saying. Yes, she is. Well, wondering if folks are sharing any of their yeah. Ideas. How about um, I'm I'm looking for other ideas for desserts. Um, Pam's had the apple crumble. That was the name I was looking for. Yeah. Um, somebody, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, Kate just got here and she <laughs> said, I had an event that ran over. I will watch the beginning after I love dessert. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> oh, Karen said pumpkin, Karen, pumpkin, carrot muffins Ooh. made with the cereal are delicious. But that might be a nice thing for Bob too, for kind of a fall idea. So Karen, um, maybe you can post that recipe for people so they can see it. That would be great. Pumpkin mm -hmm. season is coming and all things pumpkin. So Bob's keeping an open mind. He said, I haven't had peaches since I was a kid because I've never grilled. My family wasn't big on fruit and veggies. I'll keep it in mind. So Bob, that could be your takeaway tonight um to try something new i don't think you'll be disappointed and, remember, and i'm sure you're eating a lot more fruits and vegetables than um your family did yeah, yeah, right sure we have another jennifer saying this all looks amazing <laughs> should we stand back so you can see the spread i mean I don't yes know, maybe that chair's in the way but uh we've got just i mean like we said we started with a simple uh, mocktail and we moved to the appetizers, the ravioli toasted and the grilled fiesta, chicken, pepper bites. We've got burgers that are decision free if you're just joining us. Um, some uh, lean protein with the grilled shrimp and a special spice seasoning that Annika made up that you'll have to look at the recipe page to, to see what that is. We've got lots of sides and veggies and peaches and cobbler and ice cream. <laughs> well, many of us, I think, are going to charter a plane <laughs> and we're coming. Um, I just, uh, so many people are saying, oh, we want to come join you. Um, uh, Kate has an idea. She says she warms frozen mangoes or cherries, frozen cherries, and then mixes it with a warm 70 plus chocolate and then has a little bit of fat free whipped topping that sounds amazing that really good that reminds me of something maybe bob might be interested in and others who are just looking for kind of a warm dessert of course it could be eaten for breakfast or any time of the day but um fruit compotes you know um yeah. just cut up fruit a variety whatever you like just many many fruits thrown together in a pot maybe a tiny bit of water in there and cook it till it's soft, add a little cinnamon. And that goes really well either on its own or with a 70 plus pudding. Um, vanilla is what I like. We eat that a lot. In fact, my husband makes the HMR pancakes and waffles and puts the compote oh. on the top of those. All right, Bob, we're getting some ideas um, idea for you that. and other people. Bob says, I'm eating more fruit and veggies now than I ha ever have before in my life. Well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> We're, we're noted for that, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, you know, just as you're saying, you know, that table, you know, you look at everything that you've created here. Um, you know, this is not a depriving no. um, meal that you have just created here. There's so much variety there, so much color, so many delicious flavors. So again, what are you taking away from this episode? You know, can you find at least one thing, either that was shared in the comments or that Sandy and Annika did that you want to sample? Um, again, it's easier to eat healthy food if you find things that you enjoy and they're filling. It's just so much easier. And the more you have, the better. So uh, ladies, I, I speak for everyone I know that just appreciate all of the effort you did to put this together and all the wonderful recipes that you've made and shared here. Um, I can see these being so useful for the rest of the days of the summer and the holiday um, 
that weekend is coming up pretty shortly here. So really um, thank you for all your efforts and thank all of you for joining us on Sandy's Back Deck. And I will say that um, next week, uh, which is right before uh, the Labor Day, we are not going to be having a live episode, but we will be posting something. And then we'll be back on September 9th and we'll be back to our weekly schedule then. So um, make a note uh, to join us on, on the 9th of September at our regular time here, seven o'clock Eastern on Thursdays. And then um, you can count on us every week after that. So everyone have a wonderful couple of weeks. Uh, stay posting in our uh, uh, on our site because there's so much that goes on there 24 seven and good night everybody. And thank you again. Thanks Bye, everyone. Thank Thanks you. for joining us. Bye. Bye.